So I've been running my <coughs> new laptop here for a couple of days now and overall I'm very very happy with it. So I went with the um, Ultra Note 15.6. So spec wise I went with the um, quad core i7 um, the 3632QM it's got 6 megabytes cache um, it presents itself as 8 processors um, to the operating system as you can see across the front there and I loaded it with uh, 16 gigabytes of memory because I do a lot of work with uh, virtual machines um, and I also have gone for um, 30 gigabyte or 20 20 or 30 gigabyte let me check that actually 20 gigabyte uh, Intel cache disk and a 500 gigabyte um, Western Digital Scorpio, the fast one, the or faster one, 7200 RPM disk. So, um, just plug out the mouse I'm using here. So, firstly, the screen actually it's reduced the brightness there, it's on power at the moment. Uh, let me just turn up the screen to the maximum. Now it's very hard to tell on YouTube videos, but just to give it a comparison. So I've got a, um, what was at the time, a, quite an expensive Samsung um, monitor. Actually, sure, resolution that's running at. It's running at um, actually 1680 by 1050, so not quite the resolution as this, but I think you'll probably see from the, from the um, video that um, the this screen here on the uh, laptop is way brighter. I've never had a laptop re resolution like this. Um, it is the matte finish. It's impossible to generate glare here at the moment. Um, although I'm on the fence about glossy versus matte. I'm sure I'll grow to like the uh, matte. Um, so it's very light for the size. Now they've done quite a clever little optical trick here. Because most people who see this laptop think, oh look at that, it's very very thin. So you'd see this edge here, and it would appear to be incredibly thin to look at that there. But what they've done is, underneath, it actually angles down. I don't know if you can see that there. See that shadow there? So it actually angles down underneath. So underneath, it's actually a little bit thicker. But when it's on a desk, as everybody who sees this think, Wow, that is a really, really thin laptop. Um, this looks like it's only about 10 millimeters thin. Um, so it's quite a clever little optical trick there. I mean, it's not, it's very, very thin in general. Um, so, <coughs> around the laptop, a very quick tour. Got the CD, DVD drive here. I've yet to use it actually. First time I opened it, no CD in it. Um, USB, another two USB 3.0 and I don't know, there's blue ones and grey ones, must read up on that, I don't know which is which. There's two USBs here at the front, audio on mic, uh, Kensington lock, and on the other side we've got power, Ethernet, VGA, HDMI, and two more USB. Um, I do notice the actual connections, they're very very tight, which I suppose is good, won't, stuff won't, definitely won't fall out of these. That is the outlet there for the uh, CPU, so when I'm uh, converting videos and stuff, it does uh, spin up, you can hear it, no doubt about that, but um, I, that seems to be pretty normal with laptops. Underneath, um, you've got the access panel here for memory and CPU disk. PC specialist, why you not put on labels straight? One job to do, put on a sticker at the bottom, that's the Windows 7 one, it's on crooked, but anyways. Um, there's the model here, it's actually a Clevo um, W550EU, and the battery underneath. So, I don't have benchmark tests and all that stuff, but what I I've been doing is running a lot of virtual stuff on this and it's excellent. One thing I did notice um, last night I was on using the battery only. So battery performance when you're just doing like what have I got there? 
email and browsing and stuff was fine, but I was doing some work yesterday evening with, um, I was running a couple of virtual machines and video conversion and the battery was draining away. It still would probably get a couple of hours. Um, but in general, as a just this cover there, it's um, very hard. Oh, actually, yeah, you can see the color there now. So it's a kind of a metal finish. It's it's quite a clever paint job because it's all plastic. Um, flex wise, I mean, there's no there's a little bit of flex there, obviously, to protect the screen. But it's very rigid. Or rigid. It's the hinge mechanism looks pretty good. Um, very very rigid, no flex in it. And you can see the finish there, it's kind of this kind of a metallic silver finish. One thing I was kind of a bit worried about when I was buying this or reading the forums, um, there was talk about the keyboard needed getting used to. Um, I was expecting those kind of rubber keys, but it's not actually, it's quite easy to get used to this. They're, uh, they're kind of black plastic but they're solid. There's, actually quite easy to get used to. This particular model has got the full keyboard so you've got the usual and you've got the number pad here at the right hand side. I think with the 14 inch version of this those numbers are built into the keyboard somewhere and it narrows up. It is very wide, there's no doubt about it and I think it's exaggeration because it's quite thin so it does come across quite wide. Uh, you got your webcam at the top. When you close the screen down it doesn't, there's no locking mechanism but it Close with a reassuring clunk, um, quite uh, stiff hinge, so it's, it doesn't doesn't open. Um, not sure what else to say about it. There's no branding on it anywhere. Um, this is a good workhorse of a laptop. The main thing for me, it's it's light. It's light. It's powerful. Um, it's actually very hard to tell the, the fact that that's got a quad core. CPU and memory and SSD and hard drives and whatnot. Um, it's got the Intel HD um, 4000, isn't it? Um, graphics cards, but I don't use it for gaming. Um, I have used it to play high definition videos and, and editing videos and stuff like that, and fine for me. Um, so that's it. That's my new uh, Ultrabook uh, 15.6.